What's all this then, Radical? An unboxing video? Well, that doesn't seem like it's supposed to be on your channel. Well, there's good reason for this particular one, because I find it rather hilarious. And we're talking about size of particular things, and in this case size matters apparently. Or not, I don't know, you know, we're just gonna do an unboxing. But first of all, let me ask you, what exactly is the biggest part in a PC? Now, if you were to answer the motherboard, you would be correct, in past tense, mind you. Now, I've got myself a Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Hero Gaming Motherboard. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it even has X670E and all kinds of wordy bits all over the place, uh, you know. It's uh, the Republic of Gamers. The designers of these things go way overboard, even the name is too big. Now here's the thing, let me just check what's inside here, you know, because I do like how this box opens up, you know, it's like, ooh, you are presented with stuff and then it does a thing and, uh, you know, you got your little booklet over here, uh, there's supposed to be a motherboard uh, right in here, you know, uh, I got my razor, razor, riser cable in here, uh, I got myself some screws, you know, uh, it's all, it's all in there, and this one comes with a particular M.2 SSD expansion slot and it can have more expansion slots and all that good stuff you want from a motherboard. Now that sounds all impressive, right? Because there's something right over here that's gonna de dethrone this particular thing as the biggest part of the computer. Prepare yourself for ridiculousness. <laughs> it even takes effort getting it over here. Here we go. Now look at that. That's that's my new video card. My old video card is broken. It's not exactly broken, it still does stuff, but it refuses to encode video, so I had to get myself another video card. Now here's the thing, these things are hard to get. Uh, I got myself a 4090. I didn't want to go with a 4090. I was looking at AMD and like, well maybe you're gonna have like the, the XFX uh, X6 7900 XFX 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 all oh, the bloody X factor in there, you know. I only have one X over here, and it's the RTX, you know. Apparently, more X's is better or worse. I don't know. I just couldn't wait for it anymore because that bloody thing is unavailable everywhere. You only get the bloody reference cards. I don't want a reference card. So this is KFA2. It's a very particular brand and popular brand in Asia. Why didn't you go with Asus? Uh, well, because, you know, it's too big, mind you. This one is on the smaller side of the bigger cards. It still has uh, the three fans, you know, and it comes with an extra little fan, which goes on the back side of this one. So it has like more cooling. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, better cooling as well. I, I looked at the stats of this particular man, and uh, he can keep up with the Strix. And you can overclock it as well. It doesn't really matter because you can overclock all the cards. So all you want is, you know, more power into this thing and it's already too much power going into this thing. We'll talk about that as well. Let me get rid of this tiny little box here, you know, because it has been dethroned. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Okay, let me put that over to the side. Now comes the part where this is textured, by the way. It's textures all around. This is shiny textured and, uh, ooh. Yeah, well, we gotta get this thing out. It's already a workout getting it over here. <laughs> now it's gonna be a workout getting it out of the box. So, oh, for fuck's sake, how do these people do that with their unboxing videos? Uh, let me see. I already opened this particular lid here. It's uh, it's like a little, little slidey lid, and, you know, I didn't wanna play with knives on the stream, you know. I already play enough with swords on the regular videos. So, it's open. How do I get this out? That's probably, you know, like some kind of vacuum idea. Uh, it's gonna get stuck in here. Let me see if I can actually get it out. Come on. Come on. Slide. It's not gonna slide. How do you... It's, it's not sliding. Oh, okay, here we go. Well, this is kind of dangerous. It's almost ripping and tearing. See, this is why I hate these kinds of videos, unboxing the bloody thing and it's not supposed to be in here. Ooh, there it comes, it's RTX, there we go. Oh, jeez, really? Oh, well, let me just look at the back side of I didn't even look at the back side, you guys probably want to see the back side, right? Oh, look at that, you can have four monitors. 
I have four monitors. They're not all. The, all the connection ports are only DP 1.4. You know, HD. There's one HDMI port on there. And uh, what else does it say? RTX on. Yeah, well, no one cares about RTX. You know, who the hell cares about RTX? <laughs> so I'm just interested in the CUDA cores. This is also a better performing card for video encoding. So that's specifically why I got this one. Shut up, Radical. Open the box. Yeah, hey, calm down. Yes. I'm gonna open it. How do you open this up? Where? Oh, okay. Uh, don't worry, I'm a professional boxing man in uh, well, this kind of uh. Well, there's another thing on it. Jeez. Oh, it's a slidey lid, so look at that. Oh, hey, look at that. Ooh. Oh. So here's the fan. It comes with this particular fan. It's also RGB and um, kind of something that needs to be said for all the RTX um, 40 series. It needs to come with this particular thing. It's a stand. Can this just open? Let me see. This is also RGB, I think. For those people out there who love RGB. I've grown a custom... How do you open this? Okay, there we go. Well, look at that. Uh, this is supposed to go like this, right? And hmm. uh, where's the? It's supposed to go in there. Oh, hey, look at that! It's like a little knob you can turn, and then you can slide it around. Ooh, fancy! So it's like a anti-slip. You know, it's got like grip. It actually has grip. Awesome. So, uh, oh, and then you put your card on there. Yeah, this is for the vertical. I think it can do for the vertical mount as well. I mean, if you want to have a card like this, this particular card, you know, it's right in here. It's. I didn't even notice it. It's a tiny card. I didn't even notice it. But yeah, this this is kind of a thing that needs to be in these these complete sets as default, right? But no, you have to actually buy. Oh yeah, there's like the thing. You have to actually buy it uh, separately for for all the other brands. So they took care of that. Um, if you want to place this card, I suggest, holy hell, that's a bloody heavy piece of machinery right there, jeez. Okay, open it up. Uh, like a slidey lob right there. Oh, I need to put it on screen, right? <laughs> oh man, this is an actual work. Oh jeez, how do I get it out of there? Uh, oh, there's little knobs on the side as well. All right, let me see. Let me see, it's holding on for dear life. Get out of there, you are here. Okay, there we go. Jeez, that's that's a ridiculous card. This is a beautiful card, though. I mean, I like this card better because it's all blacked out. And it's got all kinds of RGB stuff on it as well. You know, you can turn it off as well. But, I mean, look at this. This is supposed to be the PCIe slot. Can you see it? See this little, little protrusion here? <laughs> what is all this? What? The card actually only goes all the way over here, and there's like a little big vapor chamber or something. That's why the uh, extra fan is on here. So the fan is gonna connect on the back side here, and it's gonna pull more air out. And because it's, you gotta keep in mind, this card is about five centimeters shorter than the, the other cards you can buy, most of the other cards. Okay, uh, let me just get the fan out. There it is. Oh, it has like little clicky things and it, it just connects, you know. You, I think you just click it in there. And then you have your RGB and power connector probably. It goes on the back side of the card. Let me show you real quick. See, you got yourself some, some, uh, some connectors right there. Also for this one. I'm guessing there's, no, there's more cables in there. Ah, oh, there they are. Oh, well, this piece of garbage is, uh, you know, this is what the NVIDIA came up with. This stupid little slidey thing for 12H something card. You have four connectors in there. This is a piece of garbage. We're not going to use it. That way with you. Now let me tell you why. Because I actually have a, have a perfectly fine and very good Seasonic. 1300 watt power supply unit. See this? Oh, it's on here. It's 12 VHP WR. So the last part is power. See, there it is. 
look at that. Now it only has one connector. It says 600 watt on here and only two connectors go out. And it is sleeved and it is actually properly guarded, you know? Now, here's the thing. If you have, let me just get my old card because I can handle it a bit better. <laughs> here, <laughs> let me just put this aside as well. What's in here? We'll get to that later. Okay, let's, uh, it's like a informational pamphlet, who cares? You know, let's uh, try and get this box out of the way. Don't shame me for my tiny for 10, 1080 card. How dare you? Okay, so this one can go away for a bit. I don't need it and uh, well, I just put them side to side. That's normal. That's overcompensating. <laughs> uh, I have a tape measure. Yeah, here we go. Or a roll, uh, roll mate. What else? The Stanley uh, eight meters. I think eight meters is enough, right? Let me see. So this one is twenty-seven centimeters. Now on the side, the EVGA. Rest in peace, EVGA. They don't make cards anymore, but uh, it's supposed to be twenty-six and a half. So that's why I'm curious. If this one is indeed 36, uh, I mean uh, 33.6 centimeters, and it appears to be, now it fits in my case. I actually had to do a modification to the case as well. <laughs> You'll see that in a few. Okay, so we got ourselves uh, a power cable and a connector cable for the, the RGB headers. And this one goes on the back side, it just clicks in like this, I think. Uh, we'll see all that. And then it just uh, connects on the back with this little thingy. You know, that's uh, the professional terminology. This is a thingy. And if anyone says otherwise, you're wrong. And let me tell you why. Because I am the professional thingy master. That sounds wrong on so many levels, but hey, work with it. So, oh, you probably want more measurements, right? So it's also 12 and a half centimeters. And I can actually put it on the side. This this one is a bit wobbly. <laughs> Ridiculous. And it's uh, seven point four ish, something like that. So those are the measurements. No one else actually did that because it's usually well. How far is this measurement on the website? Is this supposed to be from over here or maybe even from from over here? You know, this little little knob here. See. Or this, you know, that's, that's over half a centimeter, or maybe even a centimeter. And if you are uh, really tight for space, you really need to know what the actual dimensions are. So now you know. I'll also put them in the description. Um, it's not a very impressive fan. It's like a transparent version of this one. No, it's exactly the same. It's just a transparent version. Kind of like it. What else do I need to do? Is that, is that all there is eh? in the bloody, bloody case? So, uh, well this one doesn't come with it, it's uh, this piece of garbage. But uh, if you want to use this, go right ahead. Make sure it's connected properly though, you know? So after you're done cable managing, make sure you actually uh, check the connection and if it's actually properly secured. Otherwise you will have melting issues. Why they didn't go with four of these, no one knows. Uh, we don't care, but yeah, this one has uh, is on its ends of its life cycle. It still works perfectly fine, but if you put stress on it, it will start, you know, crashing and uh, showing artifacts and uh, blue screens of death. I have never had those in a while, but uh, apparently this card uh, has seen better days. Also, EVGA, too bad you're gone. I've seen the card that Jay's Two Cents actually showed us, and it's around this size, you know, they thought about a, s a similar idea to make this, but they don't have the extra fan. I kind of like the quirkiness of this fan though. Now, this is hard plastic. It's not a problem though, because, let's be honest here, even the EVJ, which are the best cards there ever were, it's also plastic, but it has like little shrouds on it, That's it. that is metal. I actually took this entire car card apart and uh, reseated all the stuff. Um, and then a year later it uh, still, you know, <laughs> it just uh, said, I don't want to play anymore. Uh, so yeah, you know, there it is. And uh, well, let's go and have a look at how it looks in the case. This particular one. And there it is. Well, it's not supposed to look like that, but I don't feel like remounting it. So I got my uh, four display ports here, cables. 
Uh, this particular case can't handle the entire card. This is uh, 318 millimeters. If you use the vertical mount, it's even less if you use the other vertical mount where you use all the PCI slots right here. You can actually twist this around. So this backplate is really over bright. Uh, okay, I just picked up my light and let me see. Pull down the brightness so we can actually see. There we go. And there's uh, <laughs> a very surprised Parabanafi. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So I did this. These are studs for a tripod. Kind of similar to this one. See? This one in particular right here. And I put in screws with a thread of 6x32. That's an imperial threading, but it's supposed to be on the back side of the case. It's really strange to me that there's matrix, matrix stuff in here and the, the imperial stuff, it's all, you know, interconnected. But these are the same screws you use for the mounting of your radiator. And of course there's that. <laughs> That's, you know, we. <laughs> I use that for my uh, connection to my beamer. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, th th this is what this looks like compared to what you're gonna see right now. And here's the 4090 inside the case. As you can see, I really needed that extra space right here. It's like a uh, half a centimeter of space over here, which I can't show you. Well, maybe I can. I have light. Let me see. You guys can kind of see that, right? So it is spirit level. This particular stand is also magnetic. So it basically stands. It's not just anti-slip. It's uh, actual man magnetic. Now, one of the RGB headers goes in here. The other one goes into the card, it controls all the RGB of the stuff, and the card, the, the fan on the back side also goes in here, and it is all connected, interconnected, and it then connects to something you can't see, because the bloody card is in the way, jeez. <laughs> but yeah, it, goes, it, it connects to any header on your uh, RGB uh, thing, those are those little things right here. I've got a bunch of them, all down here as well, behind this, 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 this monster, holy hell. It fits. That's the most important part. Might go for a water cooling solution at the top. Not sure yet. Uh, well, actually, I'm pretty sure I don't have the space for it, so that's probably out of the question. It's not connected yet. It is spirit level, as you can see, because the case itself is also spirit level. I think quite important. Not really, though, because there's no spinning plates in it. Um, I still have these connectors here. It's the, the normal connectors. I still need to reroute it behind the thing. I also need to get rid of this cabling. And I'm not entirely sure if this is a good idea to have it in front of the fan. I might place it over here, but then it's in front of the RGB and, you know, maybe this will work. It, it might work. Pretty sure it'll work. It looks pretty neat anyway, you know? And if it is causing an issue with uh, heat, uh, I will just, you know, remove it. But it does need it. Because it was sad. Oh, hey, there's a thing on it. Let's get rid of that. There's a thing I can peel off. Give me. Oh, that's actually, there it goes. Okay, prepare yourself. Ooh. And there it is. Pretty sure it's gonna work perfectly. <laughs> of course it is. It's gonna be a heat machine though. But then again, this, this case has like huge fans underneath and it, it's kind of a tower stack idea. That's why I need to close this off because it needs to not leak out. It needs to be, you know, going in here and going out the top. That's the entire idea. Now remember to tickle the bell on all things around it. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.